Hey, how's it going guys? Um, just got the Pixel 6a in the mail today. Uh, set up the phone already, put a case on it because I'm quite butterfingers. Um, my take on the uh, on the on the Pixel 6 tr controversy is that Google probably sent out hundreds of units out there to tech reviewers to get their hands on it. Even in after two weeks, I think they, I think they've been using it for two weeks at least. Um, they've been reporting issues. Um, of course, I don't know all the YouTubers that reported issues, but I'm guessing that's only a, a probably a small percentage. How much I don't know. But the true, but the true, um, the true or the real test is that since the Pixel 6a came out today, it'll be interesting to see in the next one or two weeks people reporting more issues regarding the fingerprint scanner and overheating issues. So if the public starts getting uh, starts complaining of it, uh, then of course the tech reviewers will put. Um, we we'll probably spotlight it. It would be interesting to see when people are able to replicate it. The issues on video or just um, or tech reviewers uh, replicating the um, the issues or more tech reviewers like myself. So I just got the mail. To, I just got the device in today, so I haven't really put it in the ringer. But let's see how it is. This is the real test and Google does have a habit of have a spotty track record when it, when it comes to build quality of their Pixel devices. I know the Pixel 2 had dis display issues, Pixel 3, not much of the 4, the 5 came out good and of course the 6 which I was a previous Pixel 6 owner. That device was not good from the get go. S so many little issues adding up over time then after maybe 6 to 9 months it started to show its true colors but Devices need to be ready and good in good type shape performance wise and day to day tasks from the get go, not waiting six to nine months. But that's my take on it. I'd be interested to see the next couple of weeks how Twitter responds and YouTube and let me see if they have any issues.